Joint Project 9102, Lockheed to build sovereign satellites for the Australian Defence Forces. Lockheed Martin has beaten Airbus in the race for Australia's biggest space tender to build the country's first sovereign military satellites to combat new threats in space. Other contenders were Boeing, Thales, Raytheon and Northrop Grumman. Lockheed Martin Australia Chief Executive Warren MacDonald said a significant amount of the content would come from local businesses. Head of Air Defense and Space Systems Division Air Vice Marshal David Schill said the multi-billion dollar project would deliver Australia's first sovereign-controlled satellite communication system. Expected to cost $4 billion, the new system will include new communication satellites, multiple ground stations across Australia, a communications management system and two new operations centers. JP9102 Operational Capability Defence on Monday announced Lockheed Martin Australia as the preferred tenderer for the new Australian Defence Satellite Communication System, known as Joint Project 9102, for the Indo-Pacific Ocean regions. Dozens of defence capabilities already depend on satellite communications as the data superhighway becomes a future theatre of war for advanced economies. The JP9102 deal is Lockheed Martin's second multi-billion dollar deal since last September when it secured a 19-year contract to deliver Australia's Southern Positioning Augmentation Network, SouthPAN. SouthPAN aims to deliver a 50-fold increase in satellite positioning precision on land and in surrounding maritime zones, going from the current 5 to 10 meters down to 10 centimeters, at the cost of $1.18 billion. Specifically, the new satellite communication system will include new defense-controlled and operated geostationary communication satellites, ground stations across Australia, an integrated satellite communications management system, ISCMS, and two new satellite communications operations centers. Lockheed Martin Australia announced it would set up a space engineering and technical hub for the project in Victoria if it won the bid, creating more than 200 advanced space industry jobs in the state. Once delivered, the new system will increase the resilience, agility and flexibility of defense's military satellite capability, Air Vice Marshal Scholl said. The company will progress to the next stage of the defense procurement process to fine-tune the tender details. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.